Norwegian Airlines has expanded so much within the last 10 years, making it the most overhyped long-haul LCC. We know that COVID-19 has battered the aviation industry, with fresh reports coming out every single day of a potential bankruptcy, redundancy or aircraft being retired. Well, to throw another bone in the mix, the airline is now saying that it will run out of money and be bankrupt by May the 15th. The plan is to basically wipe out its existing shareholders, get its bondholders and leases to accept shares in a new, state bailed out supported company so that it can survive in the future. It won't get the state bailout unless they agree. Norwegian expects an almost two year ramp up to a new normal level of operations. They also foresee its hibernation phase, almost a total grounding of its entire fleet to continue until summer 2021. That period is all about cash preservation and preparing for the new Norwegian Airlines. Now, crucial to the new airline is a reduction of at least $500 million in aircraft lease obligations. Now, that's a massive task to ask companies who have ownership of most of its aircraft. In a proposal that would cover debt to shares, if leasing companies accept the idea, then 53% of new Norwegian airlines would be owned by leases and 41% would be owned by bondholders. The later are those who are due to be paid back the money they lent to the airline in expectation of their cash back and fixed percentage, but now they won't get a single penny. All of the other shareholders who exist now will be reduced to just 5.2% of shares, a massive reduction of 94%, so they've basically lost their entire investment. The airline is also expecting huge flexibility and a short contract operations from its staff, ultra tight cost controls and all sorts of hype about cost containment and efficiency. Now there's a lot of buzz phrases that anyone can say, but few are disciplined enough to implement fill the columns. All of these are meaningless without comprehension and management capable and willing of remaining totally disciplined. Unless the airline is prepared to fire almost every manager that works for them and start afresh, it seems hard enough how they do any of this well enough to meet their targets that they set for themselves. It's just words on a page and investors need to see that. The airline's track record says it can't do any of this very well. Now currently the airline has a fleet of 168 aircraft and they want the new airline to have around 110 and 120 aircraft. It does intend to keep its long haul operations, which some investors will worry about. They plan to basically dump every long haul non-hub airport and fly only hub to hub using JetBlue and EasyJet to feed its long haul operations. The plan is to cut non-Nordic seats the most, leaving the Scandinavian market mostly intact, cutting but reviving the long haul, but seriously reducing their Europe and Near East operations. So having presented the option and the plan to the people who stand to lose the most, the airline has to decide what to do next. Leasing companies could easily say no and walk away, taking their aircraft with them in any other scenario they might have, but if they take back the aircraft, who will use them in the future? Weeks ago, they could have sold them on a short order. Now, they'll be sat on them for possibly years. It's in the interest of the leasing company to say yes, because at the end of the day, what do they have to lose? So captains, do share your opinions and thoughts regarding this in the comments below. If you enjoyed the video, then give it a like and also consider subscribing. Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you guys very soon.